Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm Glenn and I'm trying to save the world from pollution and stuff. And so are you. But this video is a little bit unplanned. I just went to the shops and I was like, hmm, this is perfect for a video. Now in Britain where I live, uh, as soon as it gets just a tiny bit summery, everyone goes mental. Everyone buys a disposable barbecue, goes down to the pub, and there's a few drinks in the park. So, as it's getting up to that time of year, not today though, uh, it's a bit miserable. But I have seen something that perfect for a video, and it is quite summery. So a lot of you may be thinking of buying some of these. And uh, come on, that's it. Uh, it is a six pack of beer. Ooh, but. <laughs> What you may see about this beer is a bit different. It seems to only be held together by this bit of plastic. Plastic, I know. But what's amazing is that actually, I saw this on Facebook like ages ago and I thought, that's never gonna happen. Oh, and by the way, before I carry on, the, only, the deciding factor of this, even though I am all about saving the world, it's just totally me. I was like, oh, should I get a beer? Is that okay to do a video about beer? I don't know what YouTube's policies are and whatnot. But I was like, yes it is, because you get a free complimentary glass and it was only five pound and I'm a stickler for anything that is free. So, free glass with no plastic. Amazing. Yeah, back to the beer. Um, I'm not researched too much into it. Um, but I'm going to review it. So, here we have the beer. Nice coloured green. Um, most beer cans have a plastic ring going around it. And I don't know where you've been if you have not seen like the images of like what happens when turtles swim in to these bits. and they Because these bits just get pulled off and chucked away. And if those bits end up in the ocean, all you posh American on your sun seekers and stuff just having a beer and chucking it overboard. If you've seen what happens to the plastic from these, and I think some of you probably have seen them, um, is where like a turtle swims in, in it and gets stuck and the turtle continues to grow, but the plastic doesn't break and the turtle will end up having almost like a figure of eight kind of shell because it got stuck in it and there's plenty of other health implications to it. Many other sea animals and it's a big thing. It's up there with the, with the straws and stuff. And Colesburg are the first people to, I believe, change that. Because the only other option from getting a six pack of cans, obviously you can get glass bottle beer, which means it comes in a cardboard box, which is really healthy. I'm not sure if healthy is the right word. But if you're getting canned beer, the only options you really have is the plastic rings or covered in plastic. So this is a really good alternative and I never thought it would actually happen. I saw it on Facebook ages ago. And that's actually happened. So, I mean, good on Carlsberg for making a start. I mean, all you now need to do is find out, like, I don't, this isn't biodegradable, this bit of plastic, but find a way to make this bit eco-friendly. I mean, there must be a way, surely. No, I don't know, a bit of cardboard or something instead? I mean, let's do the shake test, because I'd be worried about this just falling apart. I was just like holding it like this on the way home. Like, please don't fall apart. So, does it, to stay together pretty well. I mean, I've watched a quick video on how on how to open these cans of beers. I don't know why I was just, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we take this off. Oh, by the way, Carlsberg is by appointment to the Royal Danish Court. Didn't know Danish people had a court. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Carlsberg isn't normally my first port of call when it comes to beer. I mean, it's 3.8% so it's fine. I mean, the beer world in Britain is very like, it's like football almost. Oh, you drink Carlsberg, oh that's fox piss. Or Foster's or anything. Me, I'm a Stella man, but actually at heart, I'm just any kind of beer man, if I'm honest. So <laughs> let's get, I'm not gonna be tasting this, I'm just like reviewing the packaging because I think it's genius, it's great. Eco-friendly packaging is what we should be doing more and be getting more people to do. So, without further ado, I'm guessing you need to take this plastic handle off. Maybe not to get to the... Oh, all right. These are stuck together. This is worrying me, like, 
stuck together. Maybe this might be out of the question for old people about with arthritis. I've only come apart too hard. I've, apparently you open it like this. Oh, oh, okay, that's not as satisfying. Look at all that glue. I hope this glue is like biodegradable or like some shit. Or is it, oh, biodegradable or some shiz. I mean, look how stretchy that is. There we go. Oh, it's that. That, I don't know actually. I was thinking it's that really horrible sticky glue. It's not, it's not sticky. It's stretchy though. Is it like toxic free? I wonder if it's toxic free. It tastes like plastic. That's not very tasty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't think that's meant to be tasty, but yeah, I wonder if it's biodegradable. I keep swearing. It's quite hard. I'm not gonna... But then to be fair, most six pack rings are not are not the easiest of things to get off. Oh, maybe I might be able to stack it so I guess, there we are, it's in frame now. Oh. But yeah, I think it is, it's a really good change from the six pack rings stuff. Does this stick back together? Oh. oh, I guess it is kind of sticky. Well, I hope this glue is toxic free. And if it is, then, you know, kudos to Carlsberg for making, oh, it's not lining up, that's not. For making eco-friendly packaging. I mean, that was a really good start, that's great. Um, Oh, but what happens if you don't like Carlsberg or if this is a bit too expensive? I mean, it was a really good price. It was five pounds for six cans and a free glass. Who doesn't like a free glass? But yeah, if this is still too expensive for you, and if it is still too expensive for you, then I'm guessing that you are a student, as I once was. And if that is the case, and you are you're on the special brew and like the like two pound fifty cider bottles. If you end up having to get a cheap six pack with the old plastic rings on, as I know of all you students, you love a drinking game. There's a perfect drinking game that allows you to not have to worry about the dolphins and the turtles getting caught up in this plastic ring and ruining a turtle's life. There's a perfectly good game you can play. So once you get your six can, you take the plastic ring off, and the re the one thing you want to do with these plastic rings is to break is to break all the rings so nothing can get stuck in it. Obviously, it's still bad if that plastic ends up in the ocean and it breaks down. Blah blah blah. But how you stop this turtles getting caught is if you take the plastic ring, get your mate, turn it into a drinking game, crack open a can, you put your hand, you stretch the hand. Don't break the circle just yet. But you stretch your hand into the circle. You and your mate, so you're like this, and you count three, and you have to yank it away right and whoever breaks their hand free uh, has to down their drink or whichever one has the plastic still on you can decide that one but whoever's got like the plastic left on their their wrist then has to down their can and you've got six and i'm guessing you if you're drinking you probably have some mates if you don't i'd advise not to do it with yourself you'll probably lose I mean, having a good time isn't losing, but you don't want to drink six cans in two minutes. So, yeah, you keep doing that till they're all broken. Then, bin it. Also, the little loop at the top as well for the carry handle. Break that as well. But yeah, I think this is pretty awesome. Pretty sick. Uh, just a quick look at the glass. Oh, I ripped the box. I'm not going to be able to collect it anymore and sell it in years to come for 20p. It's a tiny glass. I mean, it. It's a tiny glass. <laughs> right. Yes. It's not a pint glass. I mean, it looks tiny. <laughs> but it's free. Does anyone remember when McDonald's used to give free glasses away? That was better than McDonald's Monopoly by far. But yeah, I mean, these are only. These cans are only 330ml. So the same as a glass bottle. But I have seen that uh, Coles Burger also doing pint versions of these, which is obviously much better, but you don't get a free glass. So pff, I'm getting a small can and getting a free glass. But the box as well is good. There's no plastic packaging in that, so awesome. But yeah, I'm, I hope 
obviously this is really really intuitive and quite genius so I hope that Colesburg haven't patented this I hope that this is accessible for all beer manufacturers to follow suit because this is this is great so cut down on a lot of plastic I mean all they need to sort out is the handle and if that glue is toxic free because if it isn't I've obviously just lost 10 years of my life there but hopefully it is and uh, I'm gonna have a beer now so I'll see you later Cheers! Bye! <laughs> See you on the next one! <laughs>